<laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. It's me. I'm back. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Today I'm making. <laughs> wow, I haven't done this in a long time. Hi. <laughs> I'm back. I'm making a YouTube tutorial. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm wearing this nice little kimono from Thailand. Um, and let's just get right into it, shall we? I'm going to put some gel on my eyebrows like that. Brush them upwards and brush them down. Freshly tweezed. Ignore my like four broken nails. Whoop. Got my little Ardell brush, my little dark brown Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pomade. Now, we all know how those eyebrows get done. You've seen me do it before, you'll see me do it again. Just a line underneath, a line up top. Fill, fill, fill. Let's get a little more product in there. See that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now I'm going to moisturize my skin with this NYX Primer Touch Dehydration Base. I'm gonna put it on my finger, on my nose, my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. It's just saying hello skin and get ready to be painted on. And oh, let me tell you, we will paint on my face today because that's how we do. This is kind of also like an updated foundation tutorial because I started doing this thing where I just put like concealer all over my face instead of foundation and then go with foundation. But the concealer is pretty much everywhere. As you will see right now, I'm using the shade uh, 25, I believe it is, from Maybelline. Now, Watch this. It's gonna go everywhere. Now the reason I'm putting this on my nose is because it's a little trick that James Charles taught me. In order for your nose to not get so oily so quickly. So the concealer, like once you set it with the baking powder, will stay on for a while. Do a little bit over the eyebrows like this. Now I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to take a little bit of my Fit Me Maybelline foundation. I've tried a million other foundations in my lifetime. Nothing compares. There we go. Now I'm going to use the flat end of my beauty blender. I'm gonna dip it into my Laura Mercier. By the way, ignore this little Sharpie tattoo. I couldn't sleep last night. Now I'm going to pack this on from the nose so that, again, it doesn't get oily very quickly. I'm setting it. And under my eyes, you pretty much want to look like a ghost. I like how soft it feels though after you take it off. And now I'm just going to do this. Another one right here. Perfect. And right here, we move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna do like an Arab eye look where it's just gonna be like black eyeliner, black inside eyeliner, not too much eyeshadow, but just like cat eyes. I'm gonna grab this Morphe Y19 brush. I'm gonna get Raw Sienna from the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. Let me zoom in for y'all real quick. I'm just gonna set it as a base on my eyelid.
Now that it is really warm, so I'm going to go with the same brush. I'm going to go for a lighter shade of orange, which is the burnt orange. A little bit less of the real gal, real gore. And I'm going to go right here. Do it on the tip of my nose, on my cheeks, underneath the pale little chin right here, and right next to the contour on my forehead. And just to like have more color than just brown on my face, you know. I already have a winged liner tutorial, I will link it below, but for now, check this out. So, here is the winged eyeliner look, I'm going to zoom in, can you see that? Now, before I move on to the eyelashes, the lipstick, all the stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, I think it's another Morphe highlight, I, I think it's another Morphe brush. It is the Morphe R36. I'm going to grab my Becca highlighter and Champagne Pop on top of my lips. Now I'm using the tip of the brush so that if it's coming on the sides, it's just going to get everywhere. So I'm just using the tip of it with the product on it. You see that? Oh my god. Now that is beautiful. And now I'm going to change the brush. And check this out, this is important. I'm going to get a little bit more of the highlighter. I'm going to go underneath my eyebrows. Are you guys seeing this? Should I get paid for this? I feel like I should be getting paid for this. <laughs> I'm gonna go on my nose, at the tip of my nose, like this, side to side. See that? And then I'm gonna go again with the tip of the brush as a line, right down the middle. See that? And now, I'm gonna go in my inner corners and get them all glam, you know? I want them to pop, 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 pop. Now the face is pretty much done, so because the eyes are a little bit more complicated than this and I'm going to go back and show you what I'm going to add to them, I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face by adding the lipstick before finishing the eyeliner and the lashes. And I'm going with the shade Latte from Anastasia, which is pretty brown, and it's just like a latte and I love it. I love this color, I love that brand, it's my favorite brand. So the lipstick is on. The reason I say that the eyes are complicated is because I forgot to add my um, my cosmetic contact lenses, which are hazel. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. You shouldn't be doing this after putting on your makeup. You should be doing it before. But I'm just going to be doing it now because I'm going to go in with like inside eyeliner in my eyes. I'm going to be doing like cat eyes in the beginning. I'm just going to go change my eye color real quick. I'm back and my eyes are hazel now. See that? So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a little bit more of this eyeliner and I'm going to do it in my inner eyes. Okay? I'm going to get closer to the camera and show y'all. Damn, I look crusty. You should be very careful doing this because it could very easily get in your eyes. Have some, have some Q-tips around you. Make sure you have those. You just go with a little line. Like that. Connect it to your eye. See that? And then grab another line to the, that connects to the bottom of your eye. Just like that. That's it. I'm done. Let's not do anything else. Let's not mess it up. Let's not get it inside our eyes. You have to be very, very cautious with this step. I'm going to get this eye pencil. I'm going to grab the darkest shade from my naked 
Urban Decay. Oh my god, this palette is so old. I'm gonna grab the black from there and I'm gonna go underneath what I already have of the eye pencil. Just to give it that smudgy, smoky look. Okay, now that I'm done with the eyes, the eyeshadow, the eyeliner, I'm gonna go over it all with some mascara. So the mascara's on. Now I'm just gonna add the eyelashes. Now for the final step, I'm just going to set everything with my NYX Matte Finish Fini Matte something 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 setting spray. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to show it to you in different lightings. The sun is setting for my balcony. This is it in the light of the room. This is in the light of the natural light from outside. I love it. I'm going to show it to you in the bright white lighting of my bathroom. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. I'm going to start making hopefully a lot more videos. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching and click subscribe, like, share this video whatever you feel like doing, and show me how you do this. Bye.